We've tried direct interaction with a senior official in the ministry, asking them what was the priority issue they would like to have a summary of uh, evidence. This was the first experience. Then, after interacting with several people in the ministry, we realized that we have to build from what was already in the strategic plan in the ministry and then in the uh, yearly work plan of the ministry. And then from there, screen with those in charge to see what was the most priority where they, they were need for decision and then need for evidence to make this decision uh, more uh, effective or uh, more appropriate. And then we had meetings where we will discuss uh, with several stakeholders, including civil society organization, to kind of be sure that the problem as it was state, stated by the decision maker in the ministry was the most appropriate uh, way of uh, stating the problem. So we end up having a list of four main domains. In terms of disease or health condition, we have several issues. Malaria control on maternal and child health, mainly the low coverage of uh, uh, several services targeted at improving maternal health and uh, uh, child health. We had the issue around district development and health information, and the biggest is still health financing. Mainly, we've made our decision after this kind of wish list from the ministry. We've based our decision on the commitment of the decision maker to really move ahead the topic. We need somebody who really own the problem and consider it being a priority where I won't say he has, he's playing his own career, but uh, up, up to now, one of the main drivers has been the leadership within the ministry or the readiness of the senior official to take action.